I want, I want that. How's it going fellow foodies? My name is Chef PK here on Foodie Friday, the place where we make anime and video game food come to life. Today, yes, we are doing one of our best girls, Megumi. Hopefully we can do her justice. We're gonna be making her onigiri three ways. We're filling one with pork, one with chicken, and one with cheese, just like how she did in the series. I'm really excited for this because it is by far one of my favorite snacks and I can't wait to eat a bunch of these with a little bit of sake later. Make sure you get subscribed and hit that bell so you never miss a Foodie Friday. Check out the links below where you can become a patron and pick up one of your very own Chef PK notebooks. Let's make some onigiri. Best snack, 10 out of 10. I'm using Nico Nico Cal Rose Rice from my local Japanese market and we're gonna just eyeball this. Now pro tip for measuring rice water, you can always just fill it and then fill it to the first knuckle in your finger and you're good. And this is how you give binging with Babish a heart attack. That's about right. While your rice is cooking, you can get the rest of your mise en place ready. I have ginger, shallots, onion, green onion, miso, yuzu, sake, honey, Havarti cheese, because like sesame oil, and then we have our chicken and our ground pork. Luckily, the pork was already ground, but the chicken we're gonna have to mince up. For this recipe, I'm only gonna use one chicken breast, so we're just gonna keep one on the side for later. So now with our minced chicken, we do have that ready as well as our pork pre-ground. So we're just gonna have to get it out of the package. And then we have our different condiments. The first one we're gonna do is her chicken shio. Now, according to what I could find, it was chicken, scallion, sake, ginger, sugar, and sesame oil. We just don't know the amounts of each. So I'm gonna kind of wing it and hopefully go for somewhat of a salty sesame oil kind of toasted flavor to that chicken, it should be really nice when it's ready. Then with the ground pork, we're gonna do miso, honey, and sake with a little bit of garlic, but we also don't know the amounts for any of these. So just constantly taste your food. Make sure it's not too sweet, not too salty, not too spicy, whatever you're doing with it. Since we don't have accurate measurements because of not being able to find the recipe from the show, we can still make these, but just make it your way. Come on, you guys know the name of the game by now. So for the chicken, we're gonna go ahead and saute this up with a little bit of sesame oil to give it that nice nuttiness behind it. Once you start to get some color on this chicken, throw in your ginger. I'm also at this point going to add just a little bit of onion, throw that in there as well. Get your onions translucent and then we'll add the scallions, the sake, and a little bit of soy sauce. This goes relatively fast because that chicken is so minced up, but now we gotta try this. I like to keep my green onions until the end so that way they're still really nice and fresh, but it does smell really good already. Oh, that's good. Yep. Okay, bye. End of the video, end of the video. Take all your chicken, throw it into a container so we can utilize this for later. So the pork seems really nice because what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a little bit of honey and a little bit of white miso. And that's gonna give it a really nice sweet salty aspect. Whereas the chicken was more of the spiciness of the ginger and the onion with that really saltiness of the actual soy sauce. The two are gonna contrast really beautifully together and I, I'm, I'm really excited for this pork. Let's get to it. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of crushed garlic to this as well. A little bit of onion. So once your pork actually starts to brown and get a little bit of color, this is when we're gonna hit it with a little bit of our sake just to deglaze that pan. And right before this sake is totally reduced, we're gonna add our white miso. Remember, white miso is very nice and very subtle, but it's also incredibly salty. So I'm gonna start with about a tablespoon. Turn it on low, give it a taste. Seems like this could go for another tablespoon. Once you're at this stage where it's nice and creamy and you can see everything's kind of coming together, this is when we're gonna hit it with our honey. What's really nice about this honey is that it is local and it smells phenomenal. What you want to do though is make sure that you don't add the honey too soon while you have a bunch of heat because you're actually gonna change the flavor of that honey and that honey is really nice. So I just added it at the end to get some sweetness. This looks really good. Oh my God. Okay, show. That's fine. Now for the final ingredient, we're gonna use a little bit of Havarti cheese. And the reason for that is because it is really nice and creamy, but also somewhat mild. I'm not sure of what cheese they had actually used in the anime, but we're gonna go ahead and use this guy. 
At the market the other day, I picked up some of this Furikake seasoning that's actually Tamago, and I wanna see what it tastes like with the Havarti. Maybe we can mix those two together and make some magic. Remember that rice we started at the beginning of this video? Ready. I'm gonna take some of this rice and pop it onto this parchment just to cool it down so it's a little bit easier to work with. Once your rice is at a nice manageable temperature, grab yourself a small bowl of water. We have our rice, we have our water, we have our filling, pork and chicken. Let's make some rice balls. First, we'll start shaping our rice. Get your hands a little bit wet so the rice doesn't stick and then, ah, but before we make the rice balls, you have to realize that the rice, it has feelings. It doesn't wanna be crushed into oblivion and put into submission. It wants to be gently brought together very, nicely. What ends up happening is you actually end up breaking the rice granules and you end up smushing everything together and what happens is a lot of those starches release makes the rice really gummy. You want to bite into your onigiri and have the rice still somewhat fall apart. That's super important. It does take some time and it will take some practice but it will make the mouthfeel taste so much better than a gelatinous snowball. A little plastic wrap will go a long way. That's essentially what you're looking for. You can see that the rice granules are holding together, but they haven't quite exploded yet. You kind of want to go for that. Take your thumb, insert. You should have a nice hole to work with. We're gonna go ahead and fill with pork. We're gonna take our index finger and our thumb and close it into a triangle. Make sure that it is a little bit wet and start shaping it into your triangle and you should get something like that. Now, now repeat that like 30 times. Now that we have our rice balls ready to go, what we have to do is actually add a little bit of seaweed just to hold everything together and we're gonna plate up. And there it is guys, you have your beautiful onigiri just like Megumi had made in Food Wars. I'm really excited to bite into this, but I know we have to give it to the waifu. Babe, where, where are you? But to serve these up, I'm gonna hit it with just a little bit of soy sauce just so she doesn't have to worry about it. I made you rice. <laughs> okay, so that one, actually I don't know what any of them are because I lost track, so enjoy. You can't shimmy yet. Don't. <laughs> all the seaweed everywhere. <laughs> Which one did you get? Oh, you got the cheese one. The cheese is pretty good. I actually really like the cheese in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, weird. Most of them. You have to try the other ones. Do you want some? Do you smell fish? No, he's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, this is the pork one. The pork one. Winner. I think it's pork. Mm-mm. This is a chicken one. Winner. You know, all in all, onigiri are surprisingly easy to make and they're very easy to eat and I will say I could probably go through a dozen of these in one sitting just because of the novelty of it. Have you guys ever had onigiri? Let me know what your favorite flavor is. By far, honestly, one of my favorites is red bean, but the waifu hates red bean, so I didn't make it today. Thank you. <laughs> if you want to support the channel directly, check out the links below or become part of our Patreon and join our kitchen brigade. You'll get yourself a Chef PK notebook to write down all of your favorite recipes. My name is Chef PK here on Foodie Friday. Get subscribed and remember, keep playing with your food.